Now, the rebellion was playing out in Russia, but the whole world was tracking it. Both Putin's enemies and friends were watching the drama as it unfolded. None more than Chinese President Xi Jinping. After all, he shares what he calls a no-limits friendship with the Russian leader. But there's more to it. Xi Jinping has his own selfish reasons. Russia launched the so-called military operation in February last year. It expected an immediate victory. But 16 months later, Kiev still stands and the Chinese found a lesson again. They realize that invasions are uncertain and risky. So if Xi Jinping wants to invade Taiwan tomorrow, he would have to th think twice. He may know how the invasion will begin, but he can't be sure how it will end. And if a win is not immediate, it leads to uncertainty. It leads to a standing conflict. The kind of conflict that could shake a leader's hold on power. It's happening with Vladimir Putin.